Hey guys, Triple G here with Super Scudge 300. It was actually the first time we were doing a live reaction video for game related. We did one uh, for the first time for the Goosebumps trailer. Check that out, that's on my second channel. But we are going to be watching the new Batgirl DLC for Batman Arkham Knight. Yep. So let's check it out. Mm -hmm. It should be interesting. Yeah. Here we go. Peggy 18. Good. <laughs> Best decision they ever made. Yeah. Oh, okay. So classic Harley. Mm -hmm. Joker is always. Well, Joker's alive in this again, which is always fun. Oh, sex. Boom. Was that? Is that Tim Drake or is that? I can't tell. It's too fast. Plus, Robin hasn't talked yet. Oh, oh it is. is what? It, is it Tim Drake? Okay. Yeah, it's Tim Drake. What? What? Huh? Looks like they took Mark Hamill's back. Looks like they took that rocket launcher straight out of GTA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is looking cool. Yeah, you can, you can do that as Batman in the main oh. game now. It's about time they did Batgirl play. Oh. Awesome. So season cool. pass the 14th, separately 21st. Well. Where to start? Do what? Where should, where should we start? Because uh, I'm just, I, I think it goes without saying to Batman fans, just spotted errors. Yeah, errors. um, I don't know. What do you think we should start? Well, okay, first of all, what do you think? How does it look? It looks pretty good. Batman trailer looks pretty the trip was done well, of course. From but, what I um, saw in the trailer, you you mentioned something to me not too long ago about the the uh, Red Hood DLC for Arkham Knight and the uh, Harley Quinn DLC. Mm -hmm. What did they both suffer from? Exactly. I literally, guys, I don't know if you saw this, but I was streaming it and I literally beat each one in like under ten minutes. Like I I actually kept track. I beat each one in about nine and a half minutes or so. It's literally you find a group of guys. Okay. You do a predator section, which you all know those when if you play an Arkham game, if you don't know what that is, it's basically and you've probably seen gameplay of it, where you're basically in this area where you can't let anybody see you because most of them are armed, so you're swinging from one place to the other or you're hiding somewhere just so they can't see you and you have to take them out either one at a time or two at a time. So there's that. So two sections so far, mm -hmm. and then there is a boss fight. Yeah. Three sections. And if you sum that up, that's about three minutes each, and you can beat them. Mm -hmm. and that was for both Red Hood, which I was super excited to play as him. Yeah, he is. Love him. Yeah. And that was also for Harley Quinn. People were pissed off because of how short they were, which I totally get because Rock City was like, dude, pre-order our game. You can play as Harley Quinn. It's so amazing. And then when, when I didn't pre-order it until they announced Red Hood, I'm like, I have to play as him. Yeah. And, then, and to be fair, he does play quite differently, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. They were really done well, which yeah. surprises me, but as soon as they were beat, it was already over. It was, it was over way too quickly. And you can't even fear them as them, you can only do like challenges and stuff. Yeah, which, which is what I figured. Yeah. And not what I'm, what I'm going to say on this, I, I mean, are you seeing it in the trailer? I might be wrong, but I don't, it doesn't look free roam, does it? Uh, it looks like, like it's section based, like they drop you in. And they have you go somewhere, and then they put you somewhere else, and have you go somewhere. I don't know, man. Because it didn't look to me like you remember when they did. Let's the check the description. It might let us know. Well, you remember when they first did uh, the Arkham Knight, like some of the oh. first few Arkham Knight trailers. They did. Uh, they when they when they showed off Arkham Knight. What was the like the first thing they showed off was you can free roam. Here's the Batmobile. Look yeah, at him this swinging shit. around. You can him see swinging around. City, him flying. The him flying yeah. over the city. You didn't see any of that in this. You saw her flying away from what a, a pylon or some shit falling. I don't know what that was. Um, I didn't see any city. The city know. was in the background. In fact, I'll show you. Let's go and find it. Fuck off, Joker. <laughs> I'm just finding a screen. Too much of you. Thank you. Where is it? Son of a bitch. Just watching this thing explode again. Okay, no, it didn't show me. I saw a shot of it before. Where the fuck are you? 
That was pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Do you think she'll have different combat? It looks like she already will, you know. And she can do the uh, double team takedowns with Robin, yeah. which I expected. Yeah. But regardless, anyway, fuck it, I can't see it, but we can kind of see it there. The city's in the background. You know, Gotham's over there, but it doesn't look like you're in Gotham. Like, it doesn't look like you can leave and run around Gotham. Which would kind of make, like, what you said about the other DLCs, you don't free roam with them, you just sort of play what it gives yeah. you. That looks, it looks like this is what this is going to be, except it's not going to be no ten minutes, it's going to be like an hour or something. Rock City said that, that their side content, if you just go through it, it's two hours, which... I don't know, could be free roam, I suppose. Or if you're only stuck in... It It, it could even be the, one of those games like Dead Island, for example, where you're stuck in one section at a time, yeah, and as soon as you get to the next area, you can't go back to the previous one yeah, unless the game lets that. you. Yeah, it might be that. If it is, I'm going to be so disappointed. Yeah. But it depends what the price is. They haven't... Have they released what the price is yet? Not yet. No. no. If the season pass is quite expensive, so I can assume they're going to do a lot more DLC anyway. I presume so, yeah. and you might play as, even if they do that where you play as multiple different people, but each one of them is super short, like, what's the fucking point? Mm. And what sucks is that, like, like I said, the Red Hood and Harley Quinn were done so well, how about this, once we beat their missions, let us play as them in Free Roam. Yeah, like they carry over into the main story. Yeah. yeah. They were done so well, and you could really traverse if, like, they're maneuvering like Red Hood and Holy yeah. Quinn could jump around or grapple hook. Yeah. So you could definitely free roam as them. It's it's nice to see uh You could free roam as Catwoman yeah, in Arkham City. Exactly, yeah. It's nice so, to see um cutscenes and story and shit, so at least yeah. you're getting some so some, that. some enjoyment. So we don't know yeah these are all pre runner cuts. There's also um that one rumor that you told me that we might as well just throw out there as well. That that Superman. Mm. Or the, or at least the thinking of, of including characters that are outside of Batman walls. Mm -hmm. So we could get other DC characters, maybe. It's, it's a rumor, and I don't think you'll actually play as Superman. He'll I'm pretty sure he'll just show cameo. up, talk to you, cameo. Yeah. Which would be nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. So at least that way, Rocksteady is giving us a hint that might be what they're working on next, which yeah. would be fucking awesome, yeah. if I may add. But yeah, he was adding if you play as Superman, they'd be boring. You just go around and kill everyone in one punch. You know what I would? You know what I would like if they did as a DLC. I know they probably never will. Hmm. Me personally, I would love to see because I mean this would fit in with you not playing as them. I'd love a DLC where Batman has to go and meet the Justice League. Yeah, like he, you, you have to, yeah. you know, with cutscenes, like he mm -hmm. goes to the building. You know, like, don't they have it like a space station or some shit? Yeah, goes there and like you'd see space, but in the Arkham graphics. You talk to all the Justice League. You wouldn't play as them, but you'd be helping them with some big mission, and maybe they'd like, you know, come in and help you now and mm -hmm. again. Like Flash would zoom in and just fuck someone up. You know what? I actually just not realized that when you're actually filming in, um, in Gotham, mm -hmm. there's people actually put this up on YouTube. There's Easter eggs where mm -hmm. they have logos of Lex Luthor on buildings. This is in the same, in the same universe, universe as Superman. So they could pull it. So let me ask you, Court Clint, where the fuck are you? On all exactly. This? <laughs> like, this shit's going down. Where are you? Yeah. yeah. He probably, oh, Batman's got it. Exactly. Can't be bothered. I'm doing all this stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, it's definitely in the same universe. Yeah. So the question is, will he or not be Can they part of the DLC, DLC or make an appearance later? One thing we will talk about as well before we end this is the, the errors. The yeah. Errors. Um, Aren't there two big ones here, really? First one I want to talk about is they fucked up the Robin story arc in this. Yeah. Because as you guys know, uh, Tim Robin, Tim Drake, he apparently just disappeared in Arkham Asylum. Presumed dead. We, you know, kind of know that he isn't. Mm -hmm. But, wait, did I get that backwards? No, it's, you're thinking of Jason Todd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jason Todd. Jason so Todd. Backwards. Second Robin. So I got that backwards. Yeah. But yeah, Jason Todd apparently just disappeared in Arkham Asylum, and so two months later, Batman hired him to be Robin, and we're seeing new Robin here. So which this is, this is Tim Drake, basically. Yeah. This is him just being Robin, just becoming Robin. Yeah, which is very confusing because this, if that's true, then this has to be after Arkham Asylum. Asylum. Yeah. But Harley Quinn's classic outfit was in only this. in Asylum, but she, that was changed in Arkham City. But what's confusing, though, is that if if it's classic Harley Quinn and then Tim Drake, no, that mm -hmm. this, this just makes sense. It would make way more sense if this took place before Arkham Asylum and after Arkham Origins. If it took place in that 
Yeah, yeah right. if it was before, I would be okay with that. I think they're do they're pulling the whole uh, Batgirl and has a thing with Tim Drake thing, aren't they? Yeah. So, so there's gonna be that romance story arc in there. And the big the big one that I don't get is that this is after Arkham Asylum and before Arkham City, and she's Batgirl, but she was Oracle in Arkham Asylum. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. And we know the name Oracle comes from, like, that's her in the fucking wheelchair in, in home base command. She's Batman's comms person. <laughs> if she was still Batgirl, she would have been at the asylum helping him. Yeah. She would have been flying there and helping him. So she was clearly Oracle in Arkham Asylum. And this is after they fucked it. I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea. That's very confusing. Yeah. Like, even if this uh, took place before Arkham Asylum, Tim should not be there. No. He's not Robin yet. No. What are they, they doing? If it was before Arkham Asylum, they would have it has had to. to be Jason. Jason, they would have. I mean, I don't get it. They could have had it before Arkham Asylum. They have a Jason model. I mean, you've seen. There's a part in. Spoiler alert. There's a part in Arkham Knight where you Batman has flashbacks of the Joker torturing Jason Todd, and you see Jason in the Robin outfit with black hair. Mm -hmm. They have his model. All they had to do was put him in the game and give him Robin's move set, and just get a different fucking voice. But they decided to be lazy and use Tim Drake again. I don't know what they were thinking. It's it's W Montreal who uh, fucks up a lot of Batman yeah. type stuff. I'm not saying it's not going to be fun, but that is kind yeah. of annoying. If you're a yeah. Batman fan, that's kind of annoying. If you're really wanting like them making sure they stick to the source material, you're going to be pissed off because it's not that. Yeah. Which yeah, it kind of threw us off. Maybe they'll find some. Probably not. <laughs> I, I, I literally cannot think of a way they can make that I can't work, either. can you? No, it's... We have no idea. It's W Montreal, why didn't you pay attention? Did you watch Read. any of the fucking games? Yeah, exactly. Did you not care? I think yeah, I think they're just lazy and didn't want to animate a whole new Robin. No. There's like let's just get this out there. Just use what we have, yeah. And some people were pissed off saying stop releasing DLC, fix the PC version. I kinda have to let you guys know though that this is a whole separate studio working on this. Yeah. This is not Rocksteady. Rocksteady, tell them to fix the PC version. This is a separate... It's Dictionary almost a separate company practically. who is like partnering with Rocksteady. So yep. don't be yelling at these guys to fix it because they can't. Mm -hmm. It's Rocksteady's job. Yeah. So the two teams basically were working on the same game. So, But yeah, um, anything else? No, that's pretty much everything. All right, well, we'll be looking out for more of it, and I'll be streaming some of the DLC when it comes out, letting you guys know what I think of it. As always, sub to the GGG. Cool. See you guys later. Bye!